Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. This week I will be doing a transformative, a trans channel with Prince in the afterlife. Now this is very special because I'm not sure if you know it or not, but I began channeling celebrities in the afterlife because of Prince. He was the one that brought me to this party. And so now it's time for some gratitude. So this week, I am wearing my special PRD hat, which are new creations. And PRD is a energy. It is a soul to soul connection. People who consider themselves a PRD, which stands for purple raindrops are some of those spirits who loved Prince in his lifetime and to appreciate and understand his evolution in the afterlife and seek to connect with others who also consider themselves purple raindrops, PRDs. So this particular channeling is dedicated to those of you who are PRDs. All right, I hope you enjoy it. It's especially for you. <clears throat> All right, let's get started. So on a transformative style channeling, <clears throat> oh, my throat's a bit scratchy. I'm just going to let you know, you might hear me clear the throat because that's just the way it's going to be, <laughs> especially during this time of year. All right. <clears throat> I apologize for that if it's annoying to you, but... All right, so for a transformative channel, I share energetic space with Prince and, and, and we collaborate so that he can be present. So the most important thing for this channel is to feel his energy, for you to feel him, his essence, his soul, his spirit, and connect with that energy. All right. It's a bit of a busy time in my household today. It's a little busier than I, than I would maybe like it to be in order to get a channeling session in. I have to do it. Um, in this way and so I want you to know you might hear some background noise that's not normal for my videos but that's just the way it is because we gotta get this done and I want to share this with you and the timing is very very important all right okay let's get to it <clears throat> share space with my friend oh he's right here He's right here. You will hear my husband in the background because he will ask a few questions that I have asked him to ask to keep things on track. We hope this isn't a particularly long channel, but we'll see. Prince and I haven't talked publicly in a long time. We talk privately, but we haven't done a channel, just he and I, for a while, so we'll see how this I'm just relaxing my physical body to allow the energy to be compatible. That was bumpy. What is up with that? <laughs> oh man, it has been a while. It is cold in here. Oh, it is cold. Bridget's right. It's cold in here. She's right. Her fingers and her hands are just clammy. Cold, cold, cold. I do like the hat. The hat's pretty cool. The hat is pretty cool. They turned out real good, real good. Not really her style, but I'm liking it. It looks all right. It looks all right. You know, she doesn't have any hair to puff it up, you know? It's so funny. She doesn't have any hair <laughs> to puff it up. Oh, oh. I saw you decorating that Christmas tree. That was really sweet. Thank you. I know she'll watch this. I know she'll watch this, so I got to tell her some stuff before she... Uh, she does because she don't listen very well. You know, sometimes she just kind of just goes about her business. She's busy. She's very busy. And uh, they were decorating the Christmas tree in the the other room, and she uh, she put this little little note to me on there, and I just oh that's so sweet. 
I really, I really think that's really sweet. So I want to say that. I noticed that. So, so go ahead. What have you got? What have you got to ask? The first question today is wondering what your role as a healer is in the afterlife. Yeah, you know, we've been talking about that, or that's been coming up over and over and over again, hasn't it? We've been talking about healing. Bridget's been asking for me to uh, be more upfront about that or more uh, talk more about that, so I'm not surprised. I expected that. She, uh, she's got a... A bit of a, she does have a busy house. You all know that, right? Like she tells you that. She tells you that, but you have no idea what this house is like. It is full. It's full of love though. I mean, it's all, it's all good. I, I'm, I, it's, it's a pleasure for me to be here. So, all right. So she wants me to talk about healing. You know, that's a really big word. It's hard for people to, uh, I think, kind of understand that concept. When you think of healer, I'm sure many of you will think of a Jesus, Jesus Christ. And I have a very close relationship with Jesus and the energy of Jesus. And as I did in my, in my life, but, it, you know, it's different now. It evolves and it, things change. You, as your soul grows closer to God, there are really no boundaries or limits. Healing is sort of like that. It's sort of like a an understanding, a growth, a growth process where one person starts out on a path and, you know, things happen and circumstances, uh, sometimes beyond your control, things seem to happen. And what makes or breaks you is really how you respond in those circumstances, when you respond to those, those challenges that you have. And, there's most certainly a level of, there's a level of, I think, frustration, you know, and I understand, and I understand that. I understand that from a human being perspective, remember? I mean, I, I understand, I know, I've been you, and it, it seems like there's just struggles, right? And you look around and it seems like things are unfair and uh, not equal, and and it's true, it's not. But those things exist to give you a framework, you know, to give you a, a cause to question what it is that you're doing for yourself, what it is, the decisions that you're making for your life. And you know, you know something, it's really, it's really a situation where it's unique to the individual and it's personal. And while you might look to higher power for guidance, which is a wise thing to do. That is a very wise thing to do. But it's important to know that the healing you're asking for isn't, a, isn't really to change your life. You're not asking for change. You're asking for guidance. You're asking for a, a sense of direction and a stronger sense of purpose. It's really this whole thing of getting to know yourself as a soul, as, a, as that spirit. And that spirit is that spark of God. And I use the term God. Bridget will probably say, creator, source, universe. You know, she's got to like cover all those bases. But I, I use the term God because that's what, that's what you relate to, right? That's what you relate to. That's what made sense to me in mind and body. So it's important that I say that here. As a healer, I don't necessarily see it as a job duty, as a, as a, a career. You know, I, I, don't, I don't frame it in my brain or in my body or in my, in my, in my human how do I describe this? You need to describe this. She's so connected to her body right now. It's a bit difficult to share space with her.
as a healer, it's a healer isn't what you think in your mind. It's not what you think in your mind. It's not some title, some fancy corner office type executive, you know, running the company. That's not what healer is. It's not somebody that has more power than you. It's not an energy that knows more than you and therefore should make your choices. It's not. You hand over your choices and then you get this healing and, and someone knows more than what you know. It's not like that. It's, that's not how it goes. The understanding is so much deeper than that and it goes so much farther than I can than I could show you even, even in a dream, than I could show you. I see it as, it would be most comparable to uh, being a musician and creating, you know, making music and creating music. That's the closest vibrational tone, the, the resonance, the understanding, that the frequency that would make sense to you as you watch, as you listen to this message. Being a musician and being a healer, that is the most closely connected for me. That is what I would say. Because the healing can happen without words, without major or deep knowing. It doesn't have to be this profound experience, you know. It doesn't have to be that. I mean, it can be, but it's... The way that I work, it's not that. It's just, it's really much more about consistency, you know, consistent routine, ritual, asking, and then allowing yourself time to listen, to receive the guidance, the knowledge, the wisdom, the information. And really what's happening is something inside of you is waking up and connecting with that source that creator and there's then there's this realization that inside of you is the answer that you're seeking the guidance the the wisdom has always been there and that is a beautiful thing that is a beautiful thing and that's what i I would like people to know about healing and as for me as for my role people just ask me people ask me like i'm some sort of expert because i'm dead and maybe that's true I know what it's like not to have a body. I know what it's like to just be a soul, a spirit. And so maybe, maybe it's sort of by default, you know, maybe it's just, I, maybe, maybe it's something that I'm in service in this way because I know this is what is right for me as a spirit, as a soul, and it is right for me. I want to give back to you. And I want to connect through love. And being a healer is a good way to do that. But do not make a mistake by thinking that I fix something for you or I make something better for you. It's simply the connection, that love and that profound energy of, of our soul connecting. Our souls through source, through God connecting. That's where that miracle is. That's what that is. That's what it's all about. It's so hard to use words to describe this. It's it's just it's incredible. It's it's so that's why that word faith is so powerful, and it was powerful for me in my human life. Close to love, right? Love is the first, and faith is the second, because faith is really the expression of love. It's that devotion to yourself, that belief that all of this there's a purpose, and it's being fulfilled. You're, you, by being a living, breathing human being and having the courage to do that day in, every single day, day in, day out, that says a lot about who you are as a spirit, as a being, as a light, uh, like a ray of the sunlight, you know, like as a ray of God. You know, doing the best that you can. I think people are real hard on themselves, real hard. And it's easy to be like that. I've been like that too. I've been like that too. So I guess, I guess maybe by default, I mean, I understand. I understand and, and I'm happy to help. I'm, I'm happy to give back, you know, the love and faith and that constant 
energy that support. I'm happy to happy to do that. I think she's gonna like that answer. I think she's gonna like it real good. It's been a long time since we talked. You need to make sure that she talks to me a little more than she has been talking to me. Because my people need me, need to hear from me. So she needs to talk to me just a little bit more. I would appreciate that in the new year. That would be that would be a good thing. And I know she's got some plans, some fancy, some fancy business plans for that. And so, uh, oh, I know she's working on it, but I wanted to get it on the record. You got one more for me? I can do one more. Well, since you are interested in talking to all those people out there, I was wondering if there are any messages from the afterlife for all the purple raindrops in the world. Hmm. Oh. It's all about the love. <laughs> Oh, my friends, I feel you. I feel you. It's all about the love. It's all about the love. It's what's in here. It's what's in here. Do not pay attention. Pay no mind to the outside world and all the noise because there's a lot of white noise. And I do mean white noise in the world. Pay no mind to this. Pay no mind to this. What matters is what's in here. What's in here? Be clear. Be clear in your heart. This is where the love is. This is how you and I connect. This is how you connect with everybody that means something to you. It's through love, through the heart, through the heart. You want to know how to channel. You want to know how to connect. You want to know how to be your, be your psychic self or do all that. You're doing it right here. I'm feeling you. You feeling me? Are you feeling me right now? Are you feeling? Are you really feeling me? Don't no making. Don't be making excuses. I don't need to hear the. I don't want no complaining. Don't be crying and complaining to me. Now, when you sad, you depressed. You have reason to be. Then you take it upon yourselves to recognize that you've got the power to feel better. You gotta focus on the love, not the pain, but the love. When you feel in the pain and you're talking to me about it, we talk through it, we sort things out, that's cool with me, that's fine. I can help with that, I can help with that. But when you spend, you dwell too long in the negative, you become negative. You become negative. And you've got to stop doing that. Don't let the outside white noise change who you are at your core. And your core is here. It is at the heart. It's the heart because it's the love. And that, that is everything. That's everything. That is absolutely everything. So stop complaining and start loving. And it starts here right here as much as you love me you gotta love you or you can't connect i can't talk to you i can't give back to you if you're not if you can't even feel it yourself how are you gonna feel me see no complaining no more complaints no more crying no more excuses there's only love there's love you feel me there's love and Oh, God, we all deserve that. All of us, as soul to soul, we deserve that heart connection. It's, it's simple, really. It's, it's not complicated. You make it complicated, but it's not complicated. Not at all. Not at all. It's just about the love. It's about the love. And yes, I feel you. I know when you're talking to me. I know when you have messages, when you're sharing, when you're trying to reach me. I know. I feel you. I do. No matter what, no matter when, no matter where, no matter who. 
the cool thing about not having a body. I'm not restricted. I feel you through love. This heart. This is how I feel you. The soul has heart. That is something that you need to know for sure. The soul has heart. And that's how we connect. I have a message for Bridget. I want to tell Bridget something. Is that okay to do that? You can cut it out if you need to cut it out. Oh, girl. I see what you've been doing. I know you're pushing yourself really hard. And you and I both know that that's crazy making. That did not work well. Just step back and let, let people come to you. Let all, this, let all this good stuff just come to you. You have been so generous. You care so much, you know, and I, and I totally, I love you for that. And uh, I'm, feeling a, I'm, not, I'm feeling a little lonely because there's so many other souls in your life. I'm feeling a little lonely, a little bit lonely. Oh, no, I'm just kidding, you know, you know I'm not real. I do feel like that group is a good idea. And, and I want to continue to speak with you, through you and to the PRDs. I would like to continue to work with you in that way. Yes, and yes, you get creative license. Yes, you can have creative freedom. You do your Bridget stuff, because you have some real, girl, you got some skills that I have never seen before. I mean, talk about magic. <laughs> so yes, I look forward to that. Let's do that. You know, your birthdays are special to you, I know. And I know your birthday's in February, so February is a good time for that, if you want to start some. That's all I want to say. Thank you. Ah. <sighs> It's easier to be in her body, too. It's easier to shift in. She's a little more organized about the space. She's letting me be in the front, and then she's in the back side. It's much easier. Very simple. That was so easy. Like, um, I was trying to let his body come in further, more, or, or let, how do I say this? The body was different. He and I haven't trans channeled for a while, and the body was different. Like, my body is different. Really comfortable, very steady, super grounded, and I could literally feel him almost like I put on a sweater or something, like I put something on in front of me. And that's how he was. It was kind of nice because I felt more um, like, like he accessed so many parts of my mind and my words and my vocabulary and stuff too that normally it's a little less, it's a little more separate and it didn't feel like that as much. It was way easier. I really appreciate that. That was really nice. All right, Above Life Channel. I hope you've enjoyed this transformative channel with Prince in the afterlife. Why am I wearing this hat? Did you, watch, did you see that in the beginning? This is PRDs. This is a nod to the purple raindrops, to the souls and the spirits of you who loved Prince in his human life and who love his incredible healer energy in the afterlife. And I look forward to working with him in the new year and to continuing my work with him. And I give him so much thanks. I have so much gratitude in my heart for him because he is the one that has encouraged me along my journey. And he's the one that pushed me to create Above Life Channel on YouTube. So if you want to connect with me more, 
Um, I'd encourage you to check out The Purple Medium on Facebook. The Purple Medium is my home base for all things Bridget. And you can find, sometimes I do live streams there. And during the week, the thanks week of Thanksgiving in 2018, which is when this video will be airing originally, I will be sharing there some purple goodness as well. All right. Remember at Above Life Channel, the purpose here is to inspire your spirit and fill you up with hope. Remember, this is your life, so live it. Just live it. Thanks for watching.